First thing you want to do is install 7-Zip. This is an archive extractor tool. It's free of charge. Just install either 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your system. For VMware you need 64-bit anyway. That's downloaded, just install it. Takes a few seconds. Now you want to download the VMware image. take 15 minutes depending on your internet speed I'm going to fast forward for the sake of the video locate the download folder and you want to extract using 7-zip which you downloaded earlier and you want to extract files and then choose the destination where you want it to go in this case I'm going to create a folder called PSA in the C drive what you do is just highlight C drive Ignore that part, made a mistake there. Highlight C drive or local disk and then press OK and you can rename it whatever you want. I rename it PSA. You can do the same if you would like. Then we insert the password to extract which will be supplied to you in the email. And it's one that once that's extracted, you go over to the C drive. <coughs> into the PSA folder. This is your extracted files. You want to go to the other folder. And then you want, now you want to install VMware Workstation. Windows 10 option there also works on Windows 11 so if you have Windows 11 like I do here you can install the Windows 10 version just press next on this screen check the box to accept the agreement next next again and then you want to uncheck these two because you don't want to cause any problems keep these two checked and press next and then press install Take a couple of minutes to install, depending on the speed of your laptop. Now that's installed, you'll go to the other folder in the PSA and you want to click the three icons there. This is your main program, so you want to send it to desktop. So you've got a direct icon on the desktop for Divebox. And then you can go ahead here now and change the icon and an icon that is supplied with the this version of Divebox. Just go to the PSA folder on the C drive and then choose the dial box icon press ok apply ok and then you'll see it update there just press finish on this last screen 
and now you're ready to open dive box. So we'll go ahead here and open dive box. And then another box to pop up. What you need to choose is I moved it. Make sure you choose that one, it won't work if you choose the other two options. Once that loads into in the VMware workstation, all's left to do now is get your Lexia interface and uh, get ready to insert it into the USB port. You don't need a car for the stage. You just need to plug it into a U each USB port on your laptop or whichever US USB port you're going to always use the Lexia in. Okay, so once you insert the interface into the USB port, uh, you need to uh, then a box should pop up. Not that one. This one, and then you want to click connect to a virtual machine, and then check the box. Remember this choice. You press OK. Now your interface is connected to the VMware workstation. So I've closed that down. We just fast forward it. I've gone to the PP2000 or the Exia folder. You can go to the other Diabox folders as well, Diabox 702 and all the older Diabox, whichever one you downloaded. And I'm just going to show you the same process again. It's a little bit different with this one. So you start it up, you check I moved it, just like the, the last dive box. So once it loads into Windows on these older versions, to get your Alexia interface connected, you need to manually do it so you'll need to go to player then a removable devices then PSA USB device then connect so this will disconnect it from your main Windows computer and connect to this VMware workstation and then you can go ahead and use PP2000 Lexia or as I say one of the older dive box VMware images <laughs> 